Hi there, and thank you for joining me for this Qigong practice for energy and vitality. I'm Julie Balderrama. I love helping people just like you master your energy so that you can shine your bright light out into the world without burning out and without sacrificing your health, your relationships, or your sanity. Okay, let's get started. Let's start to become the masters of our own energy. We're gonna start with a practice called tapping. This is sort of like a body tune-up. So just make some loose fists for me. Make sure as you're standing that you've got your knees nice and soft so the energy can flow. We're gonna start tapping on the chest. You can tap as hard as you want or as soft as you want. Imagine that you've got all of these points all over your body. And every time you tap on that point, you send energy into your body. So you can see how this is a really great body tune-up. We're gonna tap all over the body. So tapping on these energy points all over the body, all over the chest here, sending energy into the body, waking yourself up, waking your energy up. Coming up onto the shoulders and the neck here, and maybe as you're tapping, you might feel like taking a deep breath is a good idea, so let's go ahead and do that as well. And then the other side, the shoulders and the neck. You may find places on your body that are tender. That's okay, you can tap a little softer. That's an indication that you might need to spend a little bit more time tapping on that that particular spot. It means that it wants a little more energy. It wants a little more attention. Okay, let's reach all the way in the back, as far back as you can. Don't worry if you can't go very far because you've got limitations with your shoulders or any other part of your body. Just reach up as far as you can on your back and tap and then make your way down your back, all the way down to the lumbar or the sacral region, and then come out to your hips, still tapping. You might need to tap a little bit harder here at your hips. Another deep breath is a really great idea. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and open up the hands so we can tap down the back and the outsides of the legs. Remember, we're tapping all over these uh, energy points on our body, all the way down. If you can't get all the way to your feet, just send your imagination down there. Bend your knees as much as you need to to get down to your feet. Tap the tops of your feet if they're available. And then start to make your way up the front and the insides of the legs. Okay, now that we're up to the belly, change to a karate chop right here in the hip creases. There's a lot of lymph right there. And so we're gonna help the lymph out. The lymph is responsible for moving out any toxins in the body that might keep your energy gunked up. And then on the belly, tapping all over the belly, just like you have a clock on your belly. And you're gonna hit all the numbers on the clock. Okay, so we're gonna come back up to the chest area, get the armpit and the breast tissues, another high concentration of lymph here and then make your way underneath the arm. Another deep breath. Now on top. Okay, switch to the other side. Hopefully by now you're taking uh, several deep, long breaths. And if not, you can make that in your intention to do so. All right. You probably already feel the energy moving through your body. Let's move to our fingertips now. We're gonna to switch to our fingertips and we're gonna tap right here at the collarbone. This is your thymus and thyroid. And we just do fingertips because it's a little more tender right here, getting the throat as well. Again, this is like a body tune-up or waking up your energy in your body. I love to do this practice in the morning, specifically for that reason. I also like to do this practice, you know, in the afternoon when I'm feeling like I want to take a nap or I'd like a cup of coffee or a cookie or something like that, that little lull in the afternoon, I'll do this practice. All over the face. I'm getting the temples and the eyebrows and the forehead. Just keep taking big full breaths. Nothing that's too strenuous, just 
getting the energy, the oxygen into the body, the back of the head all the way down to where the head meets the neck. Okay, so now go ahead and stop tapping. We're gonna take our hands, just put them on our belly and let's close our eyes. We're gonna just notice how we feel right now. I'm guessing most people report, I can report to you now, that we feel energized. We feel the sense of vitality, but also relaxed and calm at the same time. It's a different feel than than if you were to eat some sugar or to drink some coffee. It's different type of energy. So just tune into that. And I'm gonna lead you through a guided meditation for just a moment before we start practicing again, moving our body again. So as you tune into the way that your body feels right now, I want you to imagine that the energy that you feel in your body is light. So sort of see that light. It might be a different color for you. It might be white light. It might be kind of a golden light. It doesn't matter what it is. Just notice what comes up for you. And sometimes in these guided meditations, I like to ask you to turn the volume up so you can really get a sense of what your life force energy feels like. By the way, chi is the Chinese word for energy. And so when we practice qi gong, we are mastering, cultivating, developing our energy. Now as you feel, notice, see your energy in your body, begin to ask yourself, is my energy leaking out anywhere? Is it falling out of me anywhere? Is it going to places that I don't mean it to go? Or are there aspects of my life that are draining my energy? Might be a particular situation, it might be a particular health issue. It might be a particular relationship. It might even be a particular emotion that keeps coming up for you. Worry or anger, fear. Where is your energy leaking or where is it being drained? When we become the masters of our own energy, we want to actually plug those leaks up. So imagine yourself now drawing back all of that leaky energy, all of that energy that's being siphoned off of you, that's weighing you down or that's draining you. Bring your energy back into yourself. Bring it all back into yourself. And now you can keep your eyes closed or you can open them if you want. We're gonna kind of seal this up. So we're gonna make some heat between our hands. Just rub your hands together. Create some energy, some chi, some heat between your hands. And we're gonna seal up all of those leaks, all of those drains. So we'll start with our heart and just feel yourself kind of cauterizing or sealing up all of those leaks that might be coming from your heart. And then let's move up the body, all of the energy that might be leaking from your, from your words, from your thoughts, uh, over the top of the head. We're gonna kind of follow the same pattern we did when we were tapping down the back of the neck, out across the shoulders. Do you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders? We're gonna seal up that leaky energy. Reaching back, getting the kidneys, maybe there's some fear that's draining you. Moving down the body now, down the outsides and the backs of the legs, moving all the way down, sealing up all of those energy leaks. 
anything draining out of your body down to the feet, around the toes. We're going to move back up the body, sealing up, plugging up energy leaks, coming to the belly now, going around in a clock just like we did before, smoothing it all, coming underneath the armpit, out to the fingertips, You may find yourself again breathing just like you did when you were tapping. Full breaths into the body. Nothing too tense, nothing too big, but filling yourself up with, with breath. Okay, so now we're back at the throat here. And let's just do one more time. Over the top of the head. Let all of your energy come back in, seal up all of those leaks, reaching up on your back, into your kidneys, down the back, down the backs and the outsides of the legs, all the way down to the toes, around the toes and up, up the legs. And we're gonna stop at the belly, so we'll just hold the hands right at the low belly, right around the belly button. That's your lower dantian. We're going to pause here for just a moment. We're going to now gather energy to ourselves. And we want to do this gathering after we've sealed up all the leaks. It doesn't matter how much energy you bring in if your energy is leaking out, draining um, all over the place. It's like pouring water into a sieve. So now that we've um, we've stirred the energy up, we've woken ourselves up, and then we've plugged all the leaks, now we're going to gather more energy to ourselves. And so to do that, just walk your feet out a little bit so you're a little wider than hip width apart. And we're going to bend down. Now in Qigong, this is a gentle practice. So if bending down for you doesn't work, just do everything in your mind and modify your body in a way that feels comfortable for you. You're not going to be able to gather a whole lot of energy to yourself if you're in pain. Pain is a way that our energy is leaking out of our body or being drained out of our body. So stay in your comfort zone. We're going to bend down. We're going to gather energy from the earth, bring it into our heart or into our body. And then we're going to gather energy from the sky. And so the reason we're gathering energy from the earth and from the sky is because within the Chinese paradigm, we have yin and yang energy, or qi. Yin energy is associated with the earth. Yang energy is associated with the sky. And these are the two types of energy that make everything. So you can imagine if you want to have, if you want to be the master of your energy, you want to have balanced and harmonized energy. You get out of balance and you start leaking and being drained when you've got excess yang and not enough yin or the other way around. So inhale, bring the earth energy or yin energy into the body. Exhale, relax. Inhale, draw down the sky energy or yang energy. Bring it into the body. Exhale, let it flow through your body, filling you up. We're going to do this one more time. Gathering yin as we inhale. Exhale, let it settle in the body. Gathering yang as we inhale. Exhale, let it settle in the body. Now as your hands come back to your lower belly, just walk your feet back in. Go ahead and close your eyes. Notice how you feel. And before we end our practice for energy and vitality, we're going to do one more guided meditation. So if you want to close your eyes, And this is a little bit more of an advanced practice, but the more you practice it, the more you try it, the easier it will get. It's called the microcosmic orbit. 
So again, noticing that we're going between heaven and earth, we're going to feel the energy and even direct with your mind, direct the energy up the body, up the back of the body, and over the top of the head and down the front of the body, and then it connects with the earth under your feet, and then up the back of the body, maybe even as you inhale, connecting with the heavens as it falls over the top of your head and down the front of your body with an exhale. Inhaling, the energy comes up. Exhale, it orbits around the body and falls down, sinks into the earth and connects. Do a few more breaths of the microcosmic orbit. And then your last breath, the energy comes up with your inhale. and falls with your exhale. Notice how you feel. Okay. Slowly come out of this guided meditation. We've got nowhere to be in a hurry, so allow yourself this time to kind of slowly move your body back and forth or wiggle your toes. You can start to wiggle your fingers. When you decide to open your eyes, open them slowly and just move your body in a way that feels good to you. Some people like to massage a particular part of their body. Some people like to do some hip circles or maybe some shoulder circles, whatever feels good to you. All right, there it is, our Qigong practice for energy and for vitality. Again, thank you so much for joining me with this practice. I love sharing these exercises with people and I love helping you master your own energy. Thank you. <laughs>